if you have already booked a course with Vertex, you will see this uh, menu bar in the top, which is called My Courses. So My Courses will only appear to the registered students. So when you have purchased a course, then you log in with your login ID and password. This My Courses tab will come. You click to My Courses tab and it will show you all the courses which you have purchased. Now, because I've got access to almost all of the courses, so you can see many courses are here, but in your My Courses section, you will only see the course which you have purchased. So let's say we pick up this topic, which is called, you know, uh, F9, let's suppose we go to ACC F9. So this is what is well, the first day when you sign in, you will be seeing like, you know, zero out of 153 lessons completed. So as soon, I mean, as you move on and you start watching the video lectures, the percentage starts coming up that you have done 25%, 26%, 30% or whatever. Uh, these are some free preview videos. Uh, this is not now important because this is for free preview. But now I'm going to show you the actual course. Then you see ACCF9 resources. And here is your detailed study plan. This is your detailed study plan. If I open this up, what happens that you will see here. So detailed study plan is available in download format. You can download it or you can view it here. Okay. So it is given day by day for each chapter, which activities you should do, lecture video you should watch and the time it is, it is showing. So this is time in minutes. Okay. So practice yourself, BPP practice hit question this one, then you attempt a quiz from chapter one, chapter two, 30 minutes are there. Chapter three, chapter four, it's complete. So for example, chapter five, it says watch lecture video part one, part two, 39 minutes video one, 30 minutes video two, then do the practice hit questions. Uh, read study text actually, read study text from page 45 to 72, then do the question videos which we have uploaded, again question videos, then lecture video, then question videos and then practice yourself. So this is kind of study plan which have been given to you. Now if I open up, let's suppose I was seeing here chapter number 5, if I open chapter number 5 here, what do I see? I see inventories part 1, this is exactly what you were seeing here, inventories part 1, so this is inventories part 1 video, 39 minutes inventories part two video then if you see that these are otqs which the tutor has solved and when you come here there will be a video and because these otqs were done on some excel file so you will see that excel attachment as well so you can download these files so otqs section c question long question section c question for example 82 question number 82 you get the you you get the video and you get the download file as well now let me just show you here for example how it okay. works um, this is 82 family company a very important question it's about your cash operating cycle if you read the requirement plus 40 so receive so it includes november december and so this is how questions are solved and you will get this exact this excel file you can download as well uh, one thing i forget by the way when you come to the lecture video, which is usually, because these are question videos, if you come to the lecture video, for example, this is inventory part one. So what you get here, you see that this is the lecture which has been explained and these are the same tutor slides which you can download. So this is the PDF format. It says chapter five tutor slides. You can download them. You will watch the video and then you can download these slides. And then what is there that you can watch these slides here as well. You know within the portal you can see them as in this format okay you can make them bigger and you can watch your slides here as well okay so either you download either you download or you watch the slide these are the same slides which the tutor used during the video lecture and then what happens here very important thing under the same lecture video so what do you get you get the video and you get the tutor slides and you get the detailed notes. Now, if you do not want to study the lengthy 700 pages textbook, study text, you see that chapter number five, this is all inventory, order cost, holding cost, ordering cost, you know, formulas are given here. Some examples will also be solved. So you can read it from here as well. You see solutions and questions. So uh, what we have done, and by the way, you can put comments here as well. If you do not understand anything, you, you, you put down the comment and the tutor will respond. So these are the complete notes as well. Then you go to inventory lecture number two. 
again you get here in lecture number two now you do not see the slides because slides the tutor slides were available in lecture number one but you do see the complete notes because the topics which are discussed in this video the same notes are given below so you can read it from here so this is actually uh, a replacement for example just in time a replacement summary for your lengthy study text and these are quite detailed i mean the total size of these complete notes which we have put you know topic by topic if you accumulate them together it is approximately 200 pages so once you are done with your chapter i mean you did you watch the video one watch video two then you watch these three or four videos for question then you come to quizzes so it says working capital theory quiz working capital numerical quiz now this is very interesting and very important let's suppose you come to working capital numerical quiz you pick up the quiz and it requires you to add your email address and please enter your correct email address you write down here a a b b whatever i'm just putting something like this okay a a at c c c dot com you don't write it like this it is just i'm doing it okay and i start so once i start this quiz it tells me that um f9 chapter number five numerical quiz working capital here there are only four questions because I'm putting it as a demo. You will find more questions here. And then you come to continue. You go to continue and you start answering the questions. For example, this is a question. Let's suppose I'm not sure. Let's suppose I ask the answer here because here the answer is like the number you have to write down. There are no options. I go down there. Then this is the question. Again, I have to write down number. I'm not sure. I just write down something like this or then this question comes you have to pick up the answer option if i'm not clear what i do i can flag it you can skip the question okay and then you move to the next one and you write down the answer here as well for example now there are quizzes where you have 10 or 12 questions and then you have skipped many questions for example you can you know you can leave any question for example let me go back and uh, I wrote down the answer. You can leave a question, for example, it looked difficult to you and you thought that I'm going to, I will, you know, somehow do it later on. What you can do that you can just skip it or you can flag it. You can do flagging or you can do skipping and you mo move to the next one, okay? But then there are quiz quizzes which have 10 questions or 12 questions and then you are not sure that which question you have skipped or which question you have flagged, okay? So flag is where you have a doubt, skip is which you did not do at all. So what you do that you go to the top, you see here it says see all questions and you click it. When you click it, it shows you that which question is unanswered, which question is flagged. So actually I, number four, I did not answer. Number two, actually I answered, but then I deleted. Number three, I put a flag. So when you have many questions, for example, in our progress test, there are 25 questions. So it will give you, it will show you the list of 25 and it will tell you exactly which question you missed. So you click it and it takes you to that particular question and then you put the answer and you go to next. So now if you see here, if I put some answer here, for example, and if I see here now, so only question number two is unanswered. So let's answer number two as well. So I just write down any number, okay? So. I'm sure that I'm, I'm going to fail in this thing. So once I'm done with this, I, I check it here. Are there any unanswered questions? No, everything has been answered. I close it. And then I say, you know, um, finish now. And it says confirm. I say, yeah, confirmed. And it what it does, it immediately tells me the record. It, it shows me that points zero out of four because all were wrong. Percentage is zero, unfortunately. Duration was two hours, 31, two minutes, 31 seconds. The time, uh, the date when it was taken. And it shows you, unfortunately, it was an unsuccessful attempt. It gives you solution, how the, how the calculation. So this feedback is actually the correct working of that. So answer is 1600. And how it was done, it gives you the solution. Then you go to question number two. And the answer was 22219. Either you write like this or you write like this. In both options, the system will accept it, whether you write it with comma or you, it's 22,219 or triple 219. The system will accept it. And then it shows you the solution that how did you get this thing? So this is very important to get this solution. So you get the feedback for all 
wrong questions. The questions which you have done correct, we don't show the feedback, but the questions which you have done wrong, you get the feedback. Now, this is, you see it on screen, okay? So if you move forward to the next chapter, this thing will disappear. This, this thing will, will disappear, but you should not worry because in the, you remember that in the beginning you mentioned your email address. So the system will send you instantly, immediately this entire solution to your email for your record, okay? And it also sends to us your record and we are keeping your database and we can actually track your progress at any point in time. If you ask us that what is my progress, we can, you know, convert it into CSV file and the system can send it to you. So we are collecting that information. You can attempt a quiz three times, okay? One quiz you can attempt three times. That's, I suppose, is enough. And more than that, I don't think it is needed. Um, and the system record all three attempts. So first attempt, you got 57%. Second attempt was taken on, you know, certain date, it, you got 75%. And the third attempt was done on a certain date at a certain time. And you spent how many minutes and how much was your score. So we keep the record for all attempts. So this is how our quizzes work. Of course, we do have progress tests, we do have mock exams, and the entire thing will be done on this system. So this quiz system is actually, it is made, if you see here, all chapters will have quizzes, okay? All, all chapters will have quizzes. I come to this chapter, for example, project appraisal, it will have quiz, okay, in the end. Uh, yeah, quiz, project appraisal. You go to chapter number 11, last is quiz. You go to, I don't know, sources of finance, last is quiz. So it's very important to take quizzes because that will actually tell you how much you know and it also tells us that where is the problem. So this is uh, the thing which we say like, you know, uh, the quizzes, how do they work? Then what do we have here? So lecture videos, question videos, notes you will find out if you go to dividend policy, the, this is the lecture video which is given here for dividend policy. And then you get your, you know, uh, notes here. This tutor slides you will see here. Below tutor slides, you will also see the complete notes. So you actually really do not need to go back and read the study text because you've got everything online with you. Okay. So now, summing it up, I would say that, how do I see it? You know, um, when you join Vertex Learning, you don't need to, uh, you know, resort to any other resource. You don't need to find something anywhere else. We provide you with all the resources for learning process. We provide you with all the facility for testing process. And throughout the process, if you get any trouble, you have active tutor support. And uh, tutor support, actually, we have seen that those students who are active in the WhatsApp group or the Telegram groups, the results are definitely better than others. Because when you are in a group, you not only learn from your own queries or questions, you actually learn from other people's queries and questions. Because you are in a group and then somebody else is asking a question and that question probably you also had some confusion. You did not ask for some reason, probably you forgot to ask. But somebody has raised a question and when he raised the question, you also get involved into it. And then when I'm answering or somebody else is answering to that student, you are also witnessing that same discussion and you can also contribute into that. So that is actually, we call it engagement. So we engage students. Uh, how do we engage students? Through WhatsApp group, through Telegram groups. We give you assignments, um, you know, on weekly basis. We frequently, we, we arrange progress tests and then we arrange final mock exams and we arrange pre-exam live webinars. Um, so, you know, like six weeks before exam, our live webinars, they start and we run five to six live webinars in which we do the recent or the last past exam papers. And we do some other tricky areas which students they need, you know, um, are finding it challenging or finding it difficult. So live webinars are also very important to uh, participate in. So this is all about, you know, um, Two things I told you, I'm, I, I, I mean, which I uh, said in the beginning that I'm going to discuss. One was this, uh, how to say, the approach. And the second one was the system. And I've shown you both of them. I hope that this will bring some clarity in your mind that if you join Vertex Learning, uh, what you will get, how it will work, and, um, you know, 
how would be it would be so overall in conclusion i would say that once you take a course with vertex you get literally everything which is needed for a successful preparation of your exam thank you very much for your patience i think i took some extra time but i i i, I was not sure how should i decrease the time it had to be i mean i wanted to speak about everything thank you for watching